the the weather is so intense you get incredibly incredibly cold temperatures you have minus 40 degrees um really powerful winds 10 20 30 40 miles an hour right just really intense buffeting your instruments in a challenging research project near Gothic in Gunnison County over the 2022-23 winter, scientists were able to show how much of Colorado's snowpack was lost to sublimation. That's when solid snow crystals changed directly into a gas, skipping the melting process altogether. They found that 10% of the snow in that area vanished into thin air. Which doesn't sound like much, but 10% is sort of the difference between a good year and a bad year. And water managers really want to know what that is. Ethan Goodman with the National Center for Atmospheric Research teamed up with the University of Washington for the most comprehensive sublimation study ever conducted. One of the things we found was that the vast majority of sublimation in the winter occurs when snow is blown around. That could mean that sublimation might be even greater above tree line where there's more snow and more wind. He says as much as 50% of the snowpack there could be lost to sublimation. They also found that warmer temperatures and or lots of sunshine accelerate sublimation, meaning a lot of the snowpack is lost in the spring after the stream flow projections are already made. So trying to understand not just how much snow is in the, the mountains at a given time, but how that's going to evolve and how much runoff is going to come out is really a, a core problem for society. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News.